What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Dub responding to Chris Sales and his baby Mada. Let's get it. For another video. Now, tragically, I was talked about and I caught a stray on the internet yesterday. Now, I'm just now seeing this today because yesterday I did spend my Sunday buying my new oyster all gold Rolex. So the thing nowadays is, you know, going plain and I like Rolexes. Um, I like Rolexes. Yeah, because what? Great. 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 Anyways, that's not what we're here for today. Now. Chris, I understand that you still have that little Cardi watch at home, so you probably wouldn't even know what this is. I do gotta get a link out. As you can see, it's brand new. We still even got the stickers on there. You see that? Search this up, Chris, and see how much this costs. No, I don't know what he said in this and what it's about. Let's check it out. He said he don't know how to treat a woman. I heard girls don't know how to treat a woman. Okay. He got with a girl that was down for him. You mm. feel me? And now he dating this girl, whatever the case may be, they just came to my attention. Okay. And let me tell you, who, if you watching this dub, baby mama, love me, you feel me? Like, I'll take... I thought he was talking about me. I thought he said, he's talking about... Well, if you watching this dub, baby mama, love me, you feel me? Like, I'll take care of you, baby. I'll take care of you and we'll walk. Ooh. You feel me? So just let me know. Give me the word. DM me. Ooh. Uh, but you don't need him. Okay. You don't need no man with fake hairlines. You just don't. You don't need that. You don't need that in your life. You feel me? So just let me know what you want, baby. Girl, girl that wop hit, that woo wop hit me just like it hit Dub. I was like. <laughs> Who you talking to? <laughs> Who you talking about? I treat you better. You and woo wop. Okay. You know, give me the word, DM me, baby. I'll take care of you and woo wop. You feel me? So just. Can you imagine coming from a, a father? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's the father. Like, he's a present father. He's a good father. Girl, I'm talking about, I was like, oh, shit. I know damn well. Girl, I'm talking about just slap me right in the face, y'all. Let me know. Give me the word. DM me. Uh, but you don't need him. Okay. You don't need no man with fake hairlines. You just don't. You don't need that. Chris is definitely on demon life. time right now. You feel me? So just let me know what you want, baby girl. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, just let me know, baby. Mm. Excuse me. Who did you just walk by? He always got somebody in his house. Oh, so, shit. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Are we... Damn. He's up. I mean, I'm gonna eat my food, but yeah, man, that shit crazy. Like, she was just down for you. Like, I, do I got to teach niggas how to treat a woman? Okay. You might have to, Chris. Like, do I got to teach niggas how to treat a woman? Duh. I'm here listening. Mm-hmm. Niggas get money and switch up on their first. Niggas get a little money and switch up on the girl that, that was down for you. I'm speaking facts. Don't hate the messenger <laughs> on my soul. I want to hear that part <clears throat> said again. Mm-hmm. Niggas get money and switch up on their first. Mm-hmm. Niggas get a little money and switch up on the girl that, that was down for you. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking facts. Mm -hmm. Don't hate the messenger mm -hmm. on my soul. I hear you. Uh, the bad part is that he trolling. And you know Dub, he get pissed off and get to spitting in the camera like flight react. So I hope he don't do that. First of all, uh, I, we're going to get into this, but the little money part. Come on, Chris. I had little money back in 2018. Uh, it's It's big now. Now, something else did get brought to my attention. Someone said, when you look at this video, that this nigga is talking about your son and your baby mama, your little family. And they said, when you look at the comments, it's worse than the video. Scroll down, look at these comments, and boom, that's what we're talking about. As you can see, I see Brittany. Then it says, bro, I'm crying. LMFAO, I'm for real, babe, by Chris Sales. Now, before we even dissect this video, it says how to treat a woman. But in this part, you're going to see him move his 18-year-old girlfriend out the way. You're going to see. Watch this. Let him cook. Let him cook. Uh, but you don't need him. You don't need no man with fake hair lines. You just sorry, don't. You don't need that. That shit took me up out of it. <laughs> you don't need 
you don't need that in your oh, life. Oh, shit. You feel me? So yeah. just let me know what you want, oh, baby, my girl. God. Um, yeah, yeah, just oh, let me know, God. baby. All right, y'all, watch this. He's going to move his 18-year-old girl off. Yeah. See? That's her. Nigga That's said, excuse me. Then he said, bye. Wap <laughs> page. But anyways. Come on, Chris. I got to teach you something, man. I got to teach you and your comments or something, but I am the teacher today, and this isn't a good teacher attire. So let me put the right things on, and let's get at these niggas. Be back in one second. One thing that I, nigga Dub don't do is put on lotion. I am Mr. Dub, and today's lesson is get back. Today's lesson is revenge. Today's lesson is the hard truth. Uh -oh. Now, the cook. subject that we're on today is Chris Sales. Now, Chris, the first thing that you mentioned is that you will take care of not only Woo Up, but you'll take care of Britney as well. Woo Up weekly, not monthly, uh -oh. not bi-weekly uh -oh. allowance is around $200 to $500. Damn. Woo Up spends about $275 a week on gaming alone. Damn. Now, Wuop is in a very expensive kid because he has very successful parent that does whatever he asks for because me and my son built this together. Years ago when you and your son was doing videos uh -oh. and you were profiting off that, you no longer can do that. Ooh. So I understand. You do not have the funds to fund Wuop. Let alone what I give Brittany a month. Thank you don't have that. But to get into the first lesson right here, oh. it came to my attention oh. that it is this man's birthday. But I did leave out a topic that we're talking about today. The subject is how to treat. When is Chris's birthday? His birthday right now? <laughs> a woman. I want to say happy birthday, Chris Sales. Now let's keep this number two nine. Let's keep that in our mind. We're going to get Today. back to that later. Exhibit one, though. Right here, Chris Sales. One thing that you do not know how to do is treat a woman. Right here, I see one, two, three dudes. And I see <laughs> one girl. Now, let's keep this in mind that this is a deleted video that was on his YouTube, and it was a link in the description, and it was promoting something that we cannot talk about on YouTube. But is it in an alphabet and it's two letters? Now, I, I can't say that, but this video is only for my fans. <laughs> As you can see, in this video that he posted, Chris Sales is acting like a woman. So, Chris Sales, you may be right. I may not know how to treat a woman because you may be talking about yourself because you tend to do that a lot and we'll literally get back to that. But in this video, he got one, two, three males, and he had this little girl, this, this, this high school student, probably freshly out of high school, freshman in college, dance and twerk on all three of these individuals, including yourself. She danced in little shorts. She danced. She, she was blah, blah, blah. All of this explicit stuff to a woman. So all to promote a website that this great women that does not tell me that you know how to creep a woman chris now listen chris first thing i do want to say is is that you're a known cheater now you only know one girl that i've messed with but we hear an ariana and she says oh, well damn chris does not love parker or he wouldn't be texting my phone damn no i hate to bring up the past but chris you don't know how to take care of women you have lost your baby mama. Damn. You have lost multiple women. Damn. Chris, you've lost your women to a lot of my homies. Damn. Including this one. You don't know how to treat a woman and you don't know how to keep a woman. Why are you getting exposed on Facebook? This is not Instagram. This is Facebook, my nigga. You're getting exposed <laughs> on Facebook, Chris. You do not know how to treat a woman. Now, I want y'all to keep this picture in mind and I want y'all to keep this picture in mind because 29 is the magic number. Now okay. to our exhibit 
three. Oh, okay. This girl right here is named Jasmine. Does Jasmine look familiar? Does his yeah. body structure look familiar? Look at his face right there. Uh. Chris is now 29 years old and uh. he is dating a 20 year old named Jasmine. If you go to Twitter, you will find this woman and just picture with your imagination. If the fade of her face would be on her chest and bottom, that's what you would see if you search this young girl's name up on Twitter, right? This is Chris Woman's new relationship and then the reaction, that's the girl he said, hey, move out the way real quick. He's manipulating this young girl right here, right? This is the girl that he's dating. That is the same video that I just explained to y'all that this nigga had her dancing on everybody in that room, Chris. You do not know how to treat a woman. You don't do a woman like that. Five years from now, when she meet the man of her life that's 25 and she's 25, right? She's gonna be like, dang, it's the love of my life. And this video gonna pop up. You degrading this woman. You stopping this woman from catching the love of her life because you want to disgrade her. On top of that, you're the one that- he, he, he killing me with the disgrade. Let's see y'all, cause maybe, you know, I, disgrade. Mm. This degrade of rankers. Okay, I was just that damn dumb. You know he will make a word up right quick. Okay, okay married and no longer married anymore you're the one that was in all these relationships and none of them girls making any um uh, with you anymore and chris i think that you are the best person to tell me that i cannot treat a woman well or don't know how to treat a woman and that's we're going to get to exhibit five which is right here chris if you search this up on the shade room teens and shout out to the shade room teens you posted this acting with the soap thing as if this was your breast you you made this duck face right here. This is the this is the face my, my my girls make. They make this face, right? They make this face when they eating something they ain't supposed to or some sour lemon. You making this in a bathtub. You making this in a bathtub, Chris. Acting like it's stick. So you could really honestly tell me how to treat a woman because you play as one. Now we're oh. gonna go back. All this stuff correspond. You see exhibit uh, five and exhibit Two, <laughs> he is dressing up as a woman to dance on him and him. They're promoting that him and him as a woman and they're both dancing on these two individuals. Chris Shell, you are the woman. He was dressed up like a woman on that? Why? That you were referring me to because I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And listen, we're here again for another lesson is disrespect in the honest to God truth. Now, now, people know me. I never speak on personal situations ever. If I have a disagreement with somebody, it's just a disagreement in personal life. We do not bring things to the internet. But as you know watching and I know is watching is I hate this man. And I hope he's having the worst birthday. And I know he hoping I have the worst whatever, right? So you know this, right? And the real reason why I am beefing and don't like, and when I see, and when I see him, we we gotta do something. Is because this man went on the internet and said, "I would never, in my life, touch your fat BM." Mm. He disrespected my baby mama on the internet when me and her was going through things, and I had to get him. Right. So I'm thinking like, it's no way that a person like this that talks about women and talked about my uh, mother of my child, it's no way I could be cool with him. But we look at the comments and then we see somebody commenting that I show so much loyalty to, show much respect to, comment on his stuff. And the reason why me and this guy is beefing is because he disrespected my brother and he posted my baby mama on his social media page. Oh my God. It's no way uh, that my baby mama or the child of uh, mother of my child would comment on his stuff, but we've seen it. So, exhibit. Oh shit, Brittany done fucked up. Number six. This oh. is my beautiful sister. Her name is Tawana. Now, if y'all know Tawana, Tawana speaks her mind. And if anybody knows Tawana, uh, you know, in real life, Tawana is a very, very violent, mean, speak 
blunt person. Anybody in this world that's blunt is they're they're, they're mean. They're like blunt people are mean. Tawana, I knew it. What's going on the internet? And y'all, Victoria Monet and uh her baby daddy uh let everybody know that they not together no more. I knew it. Spoke on a situation about my baby mama. I've never said anything about it because I respect and love the child, mother of my child. And I'm like, the internet can be cruel. If I say anything, if I agree or disagree, it makes her look bad. And it's one thing I wouldn't do. And as y'all know, y'all know, because y'all comment on my video saying what she says and blah, blah, blah. And I just ignore it because I know my baby mom and my sister can feud and it never get on the internet. So I thought with this guy saying- So wait, 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 what? My, and what she says and blah, blah, blah. And I just ignore it because I know my baby mom and my sister can feud and it never get on the internet. So I thought with this guy saying that I don't know how to treat woman, a woman, and then my baby mama commenting on this, this is my top op. In the internet, this is my top op. <sighs> Exhibit number seven. Now we got it, two pictures right here. This is my small family. This is me, this he has nothing to do with it, and this is Brittany. Now Chris says we doing something right now that you will probably never ever do in your life, and this is a private jet. Right here, me <laughs> and my brother, we went half on a private jet to take our entire family on a trip. And here I am with my family that I know nobody talked to. So this is meaning that if Chris says I don't know how to treat a woman, that says since November 29th, 2009, which was 14 years ago, nine months and 25 days, that this lady is telling you that I don't know how to treat a woman. Let me tell you how I know how to treat a woman, Chris Sales. When I met Brittany, I was 15 years old. Me and Brittany had a long high school sweetheart relationship. It was perfect. In 2014, a tragic happened. I lost someone dear to me. I didn't want to talk to anybody. So what I did in 2014, me and Brittany split up. Now mind you, this good individual that we don't even need to talk about, um, this good individual that we don't even need to talk about was born a year so, a year and a half so later when I decided, hmm, I'm back to myself. We created him. When we created him, me and Brittany was not together. Me and Brittany was not in a relationship. Me and Brittany was messing around as high school sweethearts. We was each other, wasn't each other firsts, but we was each other like high school sweethearts, out of high school. Wasn't each other firsts? Me and Brittany was messing around as high school sweethearts. We was each other, wasn't each other firsts, but we was. The versus the <laughs> each other like high school sweethearts out of high school. We went through the co went through the college thing with her together. Um, Brittany lived with me, and then Wop was born. After my child was born, this is a little long exhibit. But after my child was born, I started doing YouTube. Once I started doing YouTube, I was working for Comcast. Where Brittany would take me to work sometimes. I didn't have a car. But once I made a substantial, my first substantial amount. A substantial. God damn. But once I made a substantial, my first substantial amount of money, I made $6,000 on YouTube. And what did I do with my first check? Did I buy me a car? Did I buy me a new hairline? Did I buy me a new watch? Did I buy me a new tie? Did I buy me a new button up shirt? I took $3,500 and bought Miss Brittany a new car. Fact check, it was a 2008 Malibu, 2007 Malibu. You remember 2019, 2018 December, me and Wuop decided that we were moving to California. I thought that me and Brittany's story ended and then I said, you know what? I'm making money. I'm making 10,000, 15,000 a month. Uh, Brittany's still at work. Let me take 3,000 a month 
and give it to this lady. Just to come so she can, we also can all be in the same house and build this family. I got all this money now, I'm thinking like, I could be selfish and be, live this single life and have all these, these bitches, have all these hoes, or I could do what God would want me to do and share this with the mother of my child. And that's what I decided to do from 2019 to 2024. Now, Damn. just like everything in this world, things go bad. And since 2019 to 2024, I've never said anything bad. You guys came up with your own exception as I'm not affectionate. Their own what, dog? Said anything bad. You guys came up with your own exception as I'm not affectionate. Exception. You heard it. I'm not. I'm not this. I'm not. Maybe you should move on. Maybe you should. Brittany know why me and her stopped talking. And I know why me and her stopped talking. Just like a banana, you sit a banana on here, it's good. You come back a week later, it might be bad. Exhibit number eight. It's kind of crazy how I don't know how to treat a woman, but for your birthday, I flew your mom, your sister, and your auntie that I didn't even know to come celebrate your birthday. And this is Facebook. Facebook is like a, just like that, where you speak your mind. This is what I said on Facebook. Happy birthday to the mother of my child. Thank you for all the unconditional love and support you show our child for 2001 Range Rover. Enjoy that. Now, there's one thing that I know how to do, and that is treat a woman. But once things go bad, I am not supposed to act like nothing's wrong. But to the internet, Brittany, I act like everything is okay. Mm. Back to what Chris Sale said back there is, is that he'll support you. Brittany. Me and you, we don't talk. Oh. We text every once in a while. We don't hear each other's voice. Oh. We see each other for maybe seven seconds oh. a day. Well, I, we probably see, I probably see Brittany's face about two minutes a week, right? For you to comment on that and say, I don't know how to treat a woman and he wanted to take care of you. Conver what she commented was, it was funny. Am I not tripping? Oh, he took this personally. As he should now. Because <clears throat> I wouldn't have said nothing to this nigga. Especially Chris. <clears throat> Girl. Never say talk to Brittany anymore. But like Chris Sale says he wants to do, that's what I do. Child, once the mother and the father break up, they no longer deal with the child. Oh, while I One thing that me and Brittany has in common that I you don't it. have in common, Chris Sale, is I am 100% in my child's life. Despite what I said about this video, I'm still gonna be in my child's life. Now, Brittany, you were dead wrong for agreeing with a man like Chris Sales, a woman like Chris Sales. <laughs> you were dead wrong. You were dead wrong. I would have been like, ooh. As I continue to eat my food and probably watch my TV because I don't have to work. What is wrong with some of you women? Don't get me wrong now. I ain't the one for no settling. If you don't want to settle, cool. But clearly you've been settling. So I don't know if you wanted to continue to settle or whatever you want to call it. But it's just kind of like. Ah, what she said was apparently was that he was funny. That's all I seen. For agreeing to a woman like herself. <laughs> because. Uh, Exhibit number nine. <laughs> this right here is ah. all the women in my life. Now, if we're talking about hoes, of course I don't know how to treat no hoe. But if we're talking about bitches, of course I don't know how to treat bitches. But we right here is talking about women. As you can see with this picture, is one person that stands up. Now y'all do with that information as you please. But for her, to disrespect me and go with him, it's just total disrespect. And I just did not think someone that I take care of, Damn. that would deny that I take care of, that would deny that I make life so much easier would sight with a woman like Chris Sales. Like I said, I know how to treat women. I don't know how to treat hoes. 
and bitches, of course. But the women in my life, I do know how to treat them. So with that being said, I cannot let somebody put that on me. Now, if I acted any way on the internet towards anybody that you see right here, it's because it's kind of hard to put on an act like I've been doing. It's mm. kind of hard to hug someone when you guys don't even say a word to each other. Mm. It's kind of hard to be affectionate with someone that you don't talk to. Mm. It's kind of hard to let go of something that you built since then. I don't think half of y'all was born November 29th, 2019. Mm. But you mean 2009? I'm a bad person. 14? For moving on, I guess, Brittany. I'm a bad person for still doing um, due diligence with you, still acting as if me and you are in the same home, still treating you as if, yeah, we're not gonna get that deep. I'm pretty sure Brittany's gonna tell her side of the story, but my book is closed. But with Chris Sales, touche, my nigga. You got her to comment? That's a W. It's kind of like Drake and Push Your T thing. Duh. But. What What's our lesson that we learned in school today, guys? The lesson that we learned in school today is stop talking about stuff you can't do. Stop taking advantage. Duh, when I tell you. This was a great video. <laughs> Damn. Of people younger than you. Just because you have a lot more experience does not mean you need to manipulate someone else. Let's date our age or at least close to it um when you're put in a position that you can do the same thing as an individual you don't need to do that my dear sister probably not hate me but dislikes that i doesn't stick up for her because i don't want my baby mama to look bad on the internet she probably dislikes me for that and i'm sorry but i still want to and Brittany, hey. I'm sorry that you have any personal problems with me when at the end of the day, we're supposed to be taking care of our beautiful child that we do respectfully. Now, if to you, I don't know how to treat a woman, that's fine. But to the world, I know how to be a father. And that's all that matters. Chris Sales, I'll see you again. But you, I won't. We're back to our regular videos tomorrow. Just had to make that clear. Damn! What did she say? Now I'll see you guys next video. We're gonna have to go back. Nah, he was cooking. He was cooking. What? The okay. Let's go back to. You know what you want, baby girl. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, just let me know, baby. Mm. She said, bro, I'm crying. And Chris said, LMAO, I'm for real, bae. She responded, so you have a chance. Oh, no. Brittany. I would have took it serious too, y'all. I would have pissed. Damn. Well, <laughs> 12 12 for the check, girl. As far as I'm concerned, you done fucked up. You know you done fucked up. <laughs> Child, she probably about to come. She, she gonna respond. Oh, she gonna respond. I uh, will look out for it tomorrow. Y'all let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.